Detroit basketball. Detroit basketball. So let's talk about this offseason. They brought in Monty Williams. They did that weird trade that got them Joe Harris. They traded also for Monte Morris, who's awesome. They brought they drafted Asar Thompson fifth overall. Then they drafted Mark Marcus Sasser. All right, Dwayne Casey moved to the front office. Eugene Omarui and RJ Hampton were waived. Corey Joseph walked. I think this team could be a playing team. I mean, they just have a bunch of guards, though. But I think last season it was, you know, injuries messed up the team early and them and it led to them tanking. But I think having Kate Cunningham back should help this team and the young talent that they have mixed with a little bit of young you know, I mean, veterans. I think there, there's something here. So let's talk about the current Detroit Pistons roster. If you guys haven't been keeping up the current roster, by the way, let me tell you any salaries. Boyan Bogdanovich only has $2 million guaranteed in his salaries for next year. So his contract isn't actually a burden. 17 players are under contract right now. You can have 15. Three of them can be two ways, but they're two, two of their two ways are filled with Malcolm Casalon and Jared Roden, both being two of the three, you know, two ways. First up, Malcolm Casalon, I'm a big fan of his. He went undrafted this year, but he entered the draft like three years in a row. And whoever his agent is, it was it's funny because Malcolm Casalon and Kelly and Hayes played each other and dueled and literally made each other like look really good. So shout out him. They also have Buddy Boehm, Stanley Umud, and Tosan all on training camp deals. One of them will be a two way. I bet you it's Tosan personally. Isaiah Livers, Marcus Sasser, Jer Jalen Duran. Yeah, Jalen Duran, Isaiah Stewart, Kelly and Hayes, Jaden Ivey, Sir Thompson, Monte Morris, Al Burks. Kate Cunningham, James Wiseman, Marvin Bagley, Joe Harris, and Boyan Bardanovich make the roster. And I hate to break it to people, but they're going to have to make a decision. They have currently, from my understanding, too many players under... They're going to have to cut some guys. And I believe one, it's going to be Buddy Boehm. One of Buddy Boehm, Stanley. Like, it's definitely interesting to see right there because... This is a team that I mm, they could go ahead and cut Joe Harris if they really wanted to because he's an expiring. I don't think it'd be Isaiah Livers personally. I don't think it would be. And a guy that I would be surprised if stays on the roster would be. Mm, yeah, I think Stanley or Bobby would surprise me. I think they're both cuts. I think Tosan's the third. So what did we learn this offseason? Man, it's still very complicated to understand what the what they're trying to go with this roster. They have a lot, a lot, a lot of guards. Like a lot of guards. Like we assume the starting lineup, Kate Cunningham, Jay Nivey, Boyan Bogdanovich, Isaiah Stewart, Jalen Duran. Then you have off the bench. Kelly and Hayes, Al Burks, Isaiah Livers, Martin Bagley III, James Wiseman, Monte Morris, Joe Harris. And then you still have Asar Thompson, Marcus Sasser. Like, they're pretty deep. And just that guard, just that guard, they have Kelly and Hayes, Jaden Ivey, Monte Morris, Marcus Sasser, Kate Cunningham. As like pure guards right there. That's like five dudes. And then if you include like the shooting guards, small forwards, Malcolm Casalon, Asar Thompson, Stanley, Al Burks, Joe Harris. Okay. Even Boyan could be thrown in there. Like what's with the obsession of guards? Am I, am I missing something? Can someone tell me? I feel like I might may be missing something. But there is like this obsession for guards by this team. And I don't know. I definitely think like that it's it's mm, 
it's definitely interesting to see how everything goes goes around, you know. Also, someone's making a little video about America's, you know, lost, lost uh, smokestacks would be the way to phrase it, I guess. And I think it's kind of funny. But let's continue this. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? So I'm just excited to see what this team could potentially be, what they're going to look like. Like, I think Asar, Asar looked dominant. I'm fully bought in into the, the Thompson twins. I think that both of them could be very solid defenders and exciting players in the NBA. But yeah, definitely, you know, looking at like Jay Nivey and Kay Cunningham, like I, I think we all are in agreement that we're hoping that these guys, Kate specifically is going to be healthy. Like the idea of a K Jalen, Jaden, my apology, Jaden Ivey, K Jaden and like Jalen Duran and Asar being the four guys that you're you're basing your team around is just a such a just a fun thought and one that gets me giddy because I personally love the idea of building around those guys because I think they're all ultra talented and that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts what do you guys think is going to happen and why it's definitely going to be interesting to say the least to see how everything plays out because it's it's how the NBA is going. It's the, the way that we're seeing the league being shaped that I think is interesting, at least to me. So I want to hear your guys' opinions down below. What do you guys think? Is there anyone that I might have missed that you guys would have liked to have heard? You know, having also like a guy like Boyan Bogdanovich, really helpful. So... I think this team isn't done yet, and let me hear those thoughts. But I could see us in a few months being like, holy crap. So, I'm peace out. Till next time, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If there was anything else you guys would have wanted to hear, let me know. I'm definitely interested. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, peace out. Till next time, guys. We're milking this to, um, I guess, the eight-minute marker. So that's what we do here. We go to the eight-minute marker because that's good business, ladies and gentlemen. But besides that, I'm excited to see Jay and Ivy and... Asar Thompson playing next to each other. Which is like crazy to think that like we're we've had to wait so long. And it's but it's gonna be awesome. So I'm done with this. This is the video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you made it this far, you must like the channel. So you know what you can do? You can hit that subscribe button as it would mean the world to have your support. So, yeah, give us your support, man. Give it to us. We want it. We want your support very badly. And, yeah, so I'm going to head out. I hope you guys do, too. Bye-bye, everybody. What a good day. Seriously.